Welcome back. I'm going to be taking a look at Nam 1975 because um, a couple YouTubers requested it in the past. And it, the reason why it's requested is because this is actually a really um, unique game. Not in the sense of the gameplay or anything like that, because it's done before and we'll get into that. But it, because it's the first Neo Geo game, and it's an interesting selection why they chose it. The game came out in 1990, Dre at 46 megs, and it's produced, developed by SNK. And like I said, it's not an original game, it's just SNK's take on it. The game that it takes um, it pays homage to or tries to emulate is an arcade game called Cabal. And I know a lot of you old heads played it in the arcade and probably on the Nintendo Entertainment System and probably whatever computer it was out for at the time. And what was unique about Cabal is, is that it had the hair trigger but it also used a trackball system where it used to maneuver your soldier um, from like left to right and be able to dodge out of the way of enemy fire actually pretty unique for the time. And it kind of had like a pseudo 3D type of um, look environment. I mean, you can bring down buildings and things like that, jets. It's very Vietnam era, much in the style of this game. Uh, another thing was that was different than this game is Cabal had like maybe three, four levels. And what you did is when you cleared a level, you kind of moved like forward into the background, scaled into the background, which is actually pretty neat. And you just clear through the levels until you got to the boss, I believe. So, this game you don't do that, you just keep on moving, what do you call it, to your right until you face the boss, etc. It's basic. So, yeah, let's just get into this bad boy. Alright, controls are basically, you have your shoot, you have your um, grenades, you know, you launch, then you have your see which runs, and if you hold the directional pad, it not only makes you runs, but you can actually roll or cartwheel, very much in a similar fashion to Cabal. And the plot revolves around a scientist and a daughter, his daughter, getting kidnapped, and you have to go back into this hell of Vietnam to rescue them. And spoiler alert, it turns out that the scientist is the bad guy. How damn adorable. Now, one thing, though, that really, really stood out about this game when I remember seeing this in the Mama Pop Shop is the um, speech. The speech in this game is outstanding. It's not only clear, it's well-voiced or acted. It's not overly done or cheesy or anything. I, because a lot of voices are really um, unclear, they're muffled, they just sound like dog shit. Here, they're actually done really well, and it actually gives you a feeling of, um, you know, you feel like you are the soldier with the speech and the way the story evolves and stuff like that. And it really draws you into the game, which is actually pretty decent. I like that. So, you know, making it more than just, you know, a normal one and gun type of um, game. But as you can see here, you have, you know, uh, you have your cursor, you're moving around very much like a ball. And you should uh, YouTube Cabal to check it out if, for people who um, have never played that game before. And you you will see the similarities. There's your grenade. Um, what else can I say? Graphically, um, don't expect much. You, you know, you have your browns, your grays, your greens, you know, all your military um, colors or camouflage, whatever you want to call it. Just are, are present. I mean, it's just a dark looking game. And it's supposed to. It's supposed to have that war torn, very dark um, type aesthetic that goes along with, you know, the whole theme. And it even pays a little homage to um, Full Metal Jacket. If you still, in the beginning, where the soldier has, like, the one to kill, one is. Um, his uh, helmet, which is actually, and Full Metal Jack is an outstanding movie. If you've not seen that, you're missing out a lot. Outstanding, outstanding movie. The thing is, is that, um, the control-wise is pretty good. You just gotta get used to the firing and dodging. I'm not sure what level this is on, but the thing is, is that it's probably on fuck all impossible. Probably level 8. I should have probably changed it. 
I mean, it's still a hard game um, nonetheless. I'm not going to say that I could breeze through this by no means. Um, but the thing is, is that um, it, it is, it poses a challenge, and you're going to take time to learn it. It is what it is. You just got to take, put, invest the time. That's one thing that was different than some of the uh, Neo Geo games, because some of the Neo Geo games were quite easy, and um, for the home, you could beat them in, I don't know, like a half hour? Something goofy like that. Here's our first boss. These two inbred looking little fuckers. And that, people complain about it a lot. You're spending $200 on a game. You expect to get, you know, $200 worth of challenge, difficulty, whatever you want out of it, you know, because, and you can't blame somebody for that. I mean, come on now. I mean, the thing is, is that, and this game still gives you the challenge. And I believe the last boss, if I'm not mistaken, is you cannot continue on it. Otherwise, you don't get a proper ending, or you get a shit-ass ending, something of that nature. From what I remember. Um... Yeah. So, like I said, it's got its power-ups, it's got its, you know, it's got its, um, grenades, it's got, like, everything you would need in a war game. And, you know, these are the games that you have to look at and actually appreciate because, you know, these games are the precursors to the battlefields, the, um, you know, the Call of Duties and all this other type of stuff, you know, you know, the Wolfensteins, all that type of games and all that that were out that, um, you know, laid the foundation for those games, you know? And that's something you have to appreciate. The one thing that's great about this is the cutscenes, the cinematics, I, they, they're actually pretty cool, even though they're kind of like, um, still shots. I think they're actually really well done. I think they're really, it just puts you in the mood, and it puts you that you're there. So, the thing is, do I recommend the game? Absolutely. It's the challenge is there, if you want it. The problem, though, is, is with the game, um... Like old Neo Geo, as you all know, shit's gone expensive. And with expensive... That's the whole problem. It's, unfortunately, this game is going... Whereas, it's, at one point, they couldn't even give this game away. It's like... You know, you bought a Happy Meal and got, like, a non-1975 or a Magician Lord with it. I mean, it's basically where it came down to. Now, this game is so sought after because of the increased popularity of Neo Geo. And now, it's just becoming so hard to find a game. And even the MVS copy is becoming really increasingly hard. And that's what I'm playing now. The thing is, is because the AS version only has so many credits... And therefore, um, since my gameplay in here would be really bad, it wouldn't be able to um, get to see a little bit more of the game. I believe, I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, I believe this game was part of the SNK Volume 1. If I'm not mistaken, I can't be sure, my memory's a little fuzzy on that. But the thing is, is that if you need to play it on main, even though everybody knows I'm not the emulation, I ain't with all that, but if that's your only way of playing it, sure, fuck it, go for it. Because, um, this game is fun, it's challenging, and it, it, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's frustrating as shit. You, you know, like I said, it's got its moments. I mean, it, it, that's what it was, it's a quarter muncher. It's, it's made to actually take your money. Because you gotta remember something, SK is an arcade producer. And at the end of the day, it comes down to pay. So the thing is, is that you got to expect the challenge to be there, um, and some, some sometimes some cheap ass hits with it. Let's just not lie about that. But the thing is, is that um, it's still a relatively fun game, and a lot of people who own it play it from time to time and like the challenge of trying to see how um, far they can actually get um, in the game. As you can see here, I got like the double like a weapon, so that's actually pretty cool. Giving me the two cursors. So my recommendation, definitely check it out. I hope that if you can find it, I hope you don't have to spend a lot of money on it. And yeah, the thing is, is that any way you possibly can get this game, get your hands on it. Like graphically, it's not going to blow you away. The speech is like the best part of it. The music is okay, it's fitting. But it's just something that was 
really cool at the time it came out, and it's just something that's it's just a throwback to the old days of what games used to be, and that arcade feel, and the one-hit kills and all. And then, you know, eventually, you know, um, you know, the Neo Geo would become popular for, you know, the Metal Slug series. And, you know, it, it's just really cool seeing how games like this just came along and they were something really unique at the time. It's a shame you don't get, like, stuff like that nowadays. All right, then. I'll leave you a little bit more to see some of the cin cinematics. And I'm out this bitch. Contact Allied Point and invade by parachute. Thank <laughs> you.